In this session, once we have configured our SWMM software to run uh, to our units and uh, our preferences, we will now digitize our network uh, and the different elements of our network. The elements would include the junctions, outfalls, conduits and catchments. So let's go to the SWMM software. So this is what our software looks like now and uh, uh, before digitizing any of these elements the first thing I need to do is start with a background image. For opening the background image I will go to view, there is a backdrop and let me load the backdrop. The backdrop image has been given to you in your uh, videos folder so I will go to the backdrop image. Uh, you can open it from the space. Uh, from the location you have stored in your computer. Also with the background image what is given to you is the coordinate file and I will go and open the coordinate file. I would also want our map to be scaled to the backdrop image and therefore I will scale this. So now you see your background image opens here. This background image is created in ArcMap the in the same way you can also create the background image in AutoCAD. The benefit of uh, a configured or a coordinate system uh, uh, an image with a coordinate system is that it uh, opens at a specific place so you can see the XY coordinate here and therefore the reference or the ge uh, geometric coordinates of uh, uh, the geographical coordinates of the image remain same. So if you see at the background image carefully you will be able to see the dotted lines which are the catchments these circles are the junctions and this triangle is the outfall and the different thickness lines are the conduits. Now before digitizing what I would do is I would switch on the auto length. What this would do is automatically calculate the length and because we have a image which is, has been georeferenced which has a coordinate system it can now uh, take the lens from the image itself. So before digitizing what I will do, uh, what we should do is, we sh uh, when we start digitizing what we should do is we should start with the junctions first. So for doing that I will go to the hydraulics here on the project tab and we have nodes and this is a junction and I will add the junctions one by one. So I will start with this junction which is my junction 1 and similarly this is my junction 2, this is my junction 3, this is my junction 4 and this is my junction 5. So what I would request everyone is to maintain the same, uh, same sequence of the junctions which is shown to you in the image. This has also been shared with you, uh, with you along with the video. So this is our J5, J1, J2 j3 j4 and j5 the idea of maintaining this con consistency is that uh, whatever data is given to you, you can store uh, in the same junction so you, you have to add the uh, data associated with each junction at uh, the particular place and therefore we would maintain the configuration or name of the junctions so now let me start with j6 so this is my j6 and this is j7 this is J8 and this is my J9. The next I'll, uh, next digitization I will start with the outfall and I will click on the outfall and add the outfall. So this is my outfall. Now if you look at the image closely uh, because we had added the annotations and prefixes I can see the numbers of different outfalls and junctions here. Now because uh, there is too much clutter on the background what I will do is I will change the backdrop into a watermark to make it a little lighter. So now I can see clearly see where my junctions are and where my outfall is. Uh, next up we will add the links so it is from the same hydraulic, sta uh, hydraulic staff but instead of nodes we will be looking at links and I will add a conduit and let us add conduits and I will maintain the same sequence of the drawing. So this is conduit 1, this is conduit 2, 
this is going to be 3. So, this is going to be 3. So, you have to just left click on one junction and left click on the ending junction. So, these are conduit 3, this is conduit 4 and let us check where is conduit 5. So, this is conduit 5, 6, 7 and 8. I will maintain the same sequence here. So, this is 6, uh, sorry conduit 5, this is conduit, conduit 6. This is conduit 7. So, let me zoom in a little bit. So, this can be done with, with the mouse wheel. So, this is conduit 7 and finally my conduit 8. Now, once I do that, uh, sorry my conduit 8 is not there, conduit 8 is here. So, what I will do is I will delete this and I will add my conduit 8. So, this is my conduit 8 and finally my conduit 9. So, this is my conduit 9. So, now once we have digitized this, if I want to look at the entire image uh, in together, what I can do is I can click here on this button which is zoom to extent. So, once I click there, I should be able to see my entire digitized uh, network here. 